This video is brought to you by patreon.com slash worst take. Get access to exclusive live streams and Discord servers, on-screen shout outs, and early access to some videos when you join now. Help make sure that we can continue to make content like this by supporting the Patreon. Links are in the description down below. All right, so before every season, I like to do a audit or a position review of all of the positions for the Cleveland Browns. I decided that this year I want to do it a little bit differently than I've done it in years past. Usually for the defense, especially, I just kind of go by position room, which is defensive tackles, review the defensive tackles, review the edge rushers, review kind of each position group as its own. But I decided I want to do something different. I want to review the front sevens by their ability to pass rush and their ability to run stop independently. Um, this way I can talk about more players that are involved in stuff like the pass rush that might not necessarily be edge rushers. And I can kind of cover everything that every player on the Cleveland Browns brings to the table instead of just worrying about, oh, when I'm reviewing corners, how do they cover? Um, run defense doesn't usually come up. Pass rush doesn't usually come up. So this is a way to make sure I cover everything for everybody on the team to get a really good ideal of where they are as a group. Um, so we're going to start with the defense, and we're going to start with the pass rush. Now, I split this into four tiers. The first tier is the A tier. These are your premier every down pass rushers then you have your b tier which is your reinforcements right the guys who are supposed to help every once in a while you know maybe they make a big play maybe they make a big big mistake but they're kind of just reinforcement level guys then you have your c tier which is your specialist guys will come in uh once in a while and maybe blitz it's like a special package or maybe they come in play three tech a little bit so you can move two guys out towards the edge and then you have the idk tier which is like i don't know what they provide to the pass rush but they are involved some way somehow so my a tier of pass rushers on the cleveland browns is miles garrett zadarius smith jok Dalvin Thomas. I think those are the four most important players to the Browns pass rushes, who the Browns pass rush is built around. With Miles Garrett, it's obvious. With Zadarius Smith, it's obvious. With Dalvin Tomlinson, it's obvious. One name that's added to that list that you might not think is obvious is JOK, because JOK does not blitz every time. But I think the threat of JOK being able to play off of Miles Garrett and get downhill will be something that the Browns emphasize a little bit more this season. Um, think of it like how the Ravens used to use Patrick Queen a lot, where they would have him rush the passer um, a little bit more often than what a stand-up linebacker would. That doesn't, and with JOK being set to take a lot more snaps this season, I think that's something where he's aligned to. And with how teams play Miles, right, where they're just going to get rid of the ball quickly. I think somebody who's super quick and instinctual around the ball, like a JOK, can be really helpful, whether that's in pass coverage or whether that's in pass rushing. Either way, whatever the Browns plan is to pass rush, JOK is going to be heavily involved in it because he's going to have to do something off of the attention that Miles Garrett is getting. And I think that's going to be a important part of the recipe. Miles Garrett, it's obvious he's Miles Garrett. He's the best defensive lineman in football. He's the best edge rusher in football. He's the best pass rusher in football. Don't really have to explain why Miles Garrett is important. Um, J uh, Zadarius Smith, again, he's going to anchor that other end uh, side, and he's going to move inside and rush from the inside a little bit. He's going to rush next to miles um and this is where you move guys inside like a like a alex wright or you have an extra defensive tackle on the field like a shelby harris to allow that to happen but you're going to move Zedarius around a lot he's also somebody who's going to play off the attention that miles garrett is getting not because he's stacked over him like jok is but because there's only so many people on the offensive line, they can only slide a protection. But so far, and if they're going to slide three to miles aside every time, then that means that he's going to have the one-on-one. -on -one. 
So the A tier pass rush group for the Cleveland Browns. I would give this group a solid A. Does it rely heavily on them having Miles Garrett? Yes. Does it matter that that's why they're getting the A? No. Uh, Miles Garrett, even if it was nobody around him, wouldn't take much to have that. I think the potential of JLK um, as a instinctual playmaker is enticing. I also think that Zadarius Smith is due up for a pretty good year this year. And Dalvin Thomason is somebody I expect a pretty good year for him. And he was a pretty decent pass rusher last year as well. Those are the guys who can get the most snaps. Those are the guys who are going to probably be top five in the team in pass rush snaps. Um, maybe not JLK, but I think JLK is going to still be an important part to this. Um, and I think that's going to be a very, very tough room for a lot of people to deal with. Now let's go to the B tier, the reinforcements when it comes to the Browns pass rush. This is Obo Okoronkwo, uh, Shelby Harris, Michael Hall, Quentin Jefferson. Obo Okoronkwo, I think, is the most important person in this tier because he gets used alongside Miles and Zedarius a lot. He's also the first guy off the bench. Um, he's very valuable. His quick twitch athletic style is something that the Browns don't have a lot of at the edge position. If you look at a lot of Browns edges, they're kind of on that Zedarius Smith plan where they're just bigger dudes. They're not really the most athletic guys. Miles Garrett at the side, but you look at like Alex Wright or Isaiah Thomas, these guys, Sam Kamara, these aren't the most flexible guys. Um, Obo Okoronkwo is a lot better of an athlete, which makes him perfect uh, when it comes to his motor to be able to clean up off the attention that Miles Garrett and uh, Zadarius Smith create. He's not going to be somebody who takes over a game, but he is somebody that can help a star player take over a game because their energy, their motor puts other teams in bad spots to where they can't get away with overcompensating for Miles or Zedarius. Uh, Shelby Harris, I think is super valuable to this team. One, and this is no joke, he's one of the best like defensive tackles of all time when it comes to swatting passes at the line of scrimmage. That is a really valuable skill when you have as much pressure as Miles Garrett and Zadarius Smith are going to create. You also have to consider when teams' plans are to get rid of the ball quickly. Having somebody on that defensive line who's really good at getting their hands up and getting in the way of passing lanes is super helpful. On top of that, Shelby Harris is still a very effective pass rusher. Um, and I think he does really well for the Browns in pass rush situations. Uh, Quentin Jefferson is another one, had some really impressive pass rush run weight numbers. He also had some impressive impressive. Uh, pressure percentages last year so you see him as somebody who can add and reinforce that defensive line and then Michael Hall is somebody who I think has pretty pretty high quick twitch potential on that defensive line um, a really good athlete really quick I, there was a video that they put out where him and Miles Garrett are doing a ball get off drill and he ties Miles Garrett he has that kind of insane BGO once he gets comfortable if I had to rank this B tier anything I would rank it an A plus I feel better about the B tier as what it is than the A tier like the A tier I give it an A the B tier I give it an A plus because for what it is and that's important to keep in context for what the B tier is it is very, very solid. Um, so you got potential, you got veterans, you got athletic cleanup guys, you got pressure specialists, you got it all there. All right, now our C tier, our guys are gonna rotate, be some specialists. Um, right here I have Alex Wright, Mo Hurst, Grant Delpit, Nathaniel Watson. I really like this group too. Um, I think that Alex Wright is somebody who's real useful to be a backup edge. He's also somebody who could play a little bit of three tech. Um, if you wanna have a wider line or if teams are taking advantage of your wide alignment, you could put five defensive linemen on the field by having Alex play a heavy end. Um, Mo Hurst is somebody who's again, another pass rush specialist who can get downfield and wreak some havoc. And then we've seen Grant Delpit be able to be a nice little blitzer off the edge whenever he's asked to do it. It's not often, but he's somebody who can do that 
when the opportunity arises. And then Nathaniel Watson, really nice production coming out of Minnesota, not Minnesota, Mississippi State. Um, and they keep touting his football IQ. And I think that's something that the Browns will use at the Sam linebacker position to kind of get more pressure. Think of him as taking advantage or doing what Sione Taki Taki and Anthony Walker used to do on the line of scrimmage. Um, I think that's going to be part of what Nathaniel Watson is asked to do. And I think he has a good chance of being a contributor this year in, in that role. Um, now you got the IDK tier, the guys I don't really know what to do with. Um, Siaki Ika is on this list. I've said enough about Siaki Ika. He's just in a rough spot. Um, Isaiah McGuire is on this list because I don't know what the plan is for him. Um, I heard good things about where he's at from a training standpoint, but as far as like a production on the field standpoint, still don't know where he sits at. Juwan Briggs is somebody that I think is still competing to be able to make the team and be on the roster. Same thing with Sam Kamara. And De'Anthony Bell is somebody who I do think can be useful in some specific, you know, DB blitz situations, but he's probably not going to play that much because everything he does, Grant Delpit does better than him. And Grant Delpit is most certainly going to get those reps over him. Overall, I have to give the Browns pass rushing group a a great. I feel really good about all the levels of pass rushers that they have on this team when it comes from a defensive line standpoint, when it comes from a specialty blitz package standpoint, when it comes from a diversity of alignment standpoint, you have it all. You have Miles Garrett, Zadarius Smith um, anchoring your pass rush. Those are both inside outside players. You have guys like Obo Okoronkwo you could use with that. You have inside outside three techs. You have uh, a lot of pass rush specialists at the three tech position. You have a really nice a group of rush pass rushers, even from the secondary, even from the linebacking spot. This is a really good team that's really set up the rush to passer. Uh, and I'm interested to see what they're going to put together in year two of Jim Swartz system. But yes, pass rushing this room gets an A to me. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section down below. Y'all have a great day. Have a better night. Peace.